bottoms on the camera. Okay, I've got I'm scared. Me too. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> so I got my own camera. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> I'll put it, I'll keep you guys in the loop by going like this. Because the filmer has now become Filmy. Just wanted to say good luck. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. Connor? Yeah. No falling asleep. Alright. Now that you have the gun. Alright. I only fall asleep in a truck. <laughs> We saw some turkeys across the way on the edge over there. You can hear, probably hear the geese right now. But we we have a, a little gully that we'll be able to get up right on their lap and uh, should be able to make this happen. So I'm excited. Haven't shot a turkey in two years. And uh, when I did, it was kind of like, a, let's get it together and make it happen. So now it's, maybe we'll be able to get a little bit more time, get this rolling. So let's do it. Keith saw some turkeys here yesterday, and by gosh, they're back out in that same area. We're trying to get Connor into a turkey, and Kurt's gonna do the calling. And uh, we're gonna work this ditch. Kinda winds around, but we got about a half a mile to go around this corner, maybe not a half a mile. And uh, hopefully we can get close enough to the turkeys to be able to work them and get them to call in, so. We're really fired up for Connor to get his chance. Normally he's behind the camera doing it, being the filmmaker, getting her done, telling the story, but now we get to tell the story for him. If you've noticed, he still is filming because <laughs> he doesn't trust my skills. <laughs> so here we go. It's like a total disaster of things to have. Like waste heat. Take it off over. Uncle Joe's trying to show up 24 hours early. I think he is, because it might be my bad. Most of the time it's my bad. There's a berm right in front of us about 150 yards and that might be a great place to call from if we can get there without being spotted because even if we can't see them, that's, I think that's a good spot to set up to call. That'll put us in hearing range for them to hear us and for us to hear them if they respond. See some red ends. Would you shoot a Jake? Yes. 
So they're, they're probably 125 yards over there. Those deer have made an effect where they're walking. They're not feeding, they're walking steady that way. So what I wanna do is see if we can skirt, stay off of this berm and get up there another 80 to 100 yards and then, then set up the call. I think I got two tags, I guess. Looks like I'm taking a Jake. Eight redheads coming. I want you to double. One shot. <laughs> oh, we got two. You got two. Oh, we got two. You got one shot. <laughs> hey, buddy. Good job. You said pick two. Yeah. Gotta pick the ones that are in line. <laughs> Good job. Two man. Jakes. Not so that's called teamwork. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> nice job. Man, so they did not want to come. I mean, it, it was, the hens were all going that way. I'm like, oh crap. And the second series of your calls, that stopped everything. And then the hens turned and started feeding this way. And, and we well, said it wasn't <laughs> loud enough. I was on the slate and I went on to this aluminum one, which was brighter and louder. And then you're like, keep doing that. <laughs> that was no doubt about it. 
because they held up they held up out there at about 50 some yards and i'm just like keep pouring the coal to her pour the coal to her <laughs> and i didn't mind that jake coming up and seeing us yeah. and doing alarm putt because yeah. all he did was walk five ten yards down to his brothers right and then they all muscled up again and then it's like that's perfect to get a good steady shot and then have you to stand up mm -hmm. and still because they were to the left so i had to come around yes you know. but yet when there's six of them like that they it takes them a more time to sort it out than just one bird that sees oh yeah, gotta go. yeah they're like did you see what i see did you see what i see <laughs> <laughs> good job way to hold your composure Way cool, Connor. Yeah. You got yourself a pair of super jakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pick out two of them. All right, let's do this with one. Oops. One trigger. That's got an even fan. Yeah. I know it. You don't have a fan like a jake. They, I know. They throw you curveballs. That's what cost me on. Wee, that was tons of fun. I come out here every year. I've been coming out here for the last four or five years, hunting with all these people, awesome people in the industry, but I'm always the one that's behind the camera. I'm always filming. I'm always getting all these shots of turkeys dying, and it's it's a ton of fun to do that. I love it, um, but it was really nice to get a tag out for myself, get out here, and uh, be able to bring it to you guys. Um, I know it's a little bit of a different hunt um, than what we normally do. Normally, we're just chasing the waterfowl, but uh, you know what? Turkey, Turkey's fun. I love turkey, especially the spot and stock with the fan. It's it's a ton of fun. Um, definitely a thrill ride. Uh, much better than just sitting in a blind and uh, waiting for them to come in or calling them in. But anyway, thank you for watching. We got hats on the website. We are in stock. Make sure you check them out. MidwestFlyways.com slash shop. And um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments for us about, you know, fanning or whatever. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. And then uh, the other thing is that I was here with a YouTube channel that I helped start called Hooked Hunting. They mainly do um, like big game hunts and everything that has to do with horns. Um, but definitely I'll leave a link uh, to them in the description. Go check them out if you're interested in kind of the longer vlogs uh, for big game. But we got more stuff coming this summer. We're going to do a lot of bow fishing. We're going to do a lot of pigeon hunts. It's going to be so awesome. I can't wait. So stay tuned for more and we will see you soon.